um, now I will start the sessions by giving a brief general introduction to the method. Um, as you know, many transport processes are coupled to ion gradients or involve charged substrates. This means their activity can be measured with an electrophysiological method, but in most cases the currents generated by transporters are too low to resolve them with conventional electrophysiological methods. So this is why the surfer instruments are implementing a method called solid supported membrane based electrophysiology which enables um, the record of these low currents. Since the movement of the transported charge is traced, um, no labels are necessary and the readout is very direct. Another advantage of the electric readout is that it can be tracked in real time and is not limited to an endpoint measurement. And the method um, allows a wide range of possible experiment um, settings and is not uh, limited to the use of single cells, but any kind of natural, any kind of natural or artificial membrane can be investigated. As the name says, this method is based on the use of solid supported membranes, in short SSMs. A SSM is an artificial lipid layer that is resting on a solid surface. The first step to perform a surface measurement is to establish this SSM. This happens on a so-called um, surface sensor, um, which you can see in the upper right corner. So um, on the left side is a carton view of the setup of such a sensor. It consists of a thin gold substrate, um, which is coated with an alkantile layer. In advance of the experiment, a phospholipid solution is added to the sensor, where it forms a monolayer. On top of this lipid layer, the sample that is containing the protein of interest is absorbed. This can be any kind of membrane vesicles or proteoliposomes. All these steps are performed by simple pipetting. SSMs are very stable and um, not limited in size. Um, for the surf instruments, we use gold substrates um, of a 3 millimeter diameter. This surface contains, of course, a lot of the membrane vesicles or membranes. Um, and ideally, the surface is completely covered with the sample, as you can see in the picture on the right side. So in sum, this represents the membrane of several thousand cells. I would like to give you some more details about the samples that can be used. As I said, any kind of membrane can be absorbed to the SSM. This generates a high flexibility. Um, as a source, cultured eukaryotic cells or tissue or bacterial cells can be used. The cells are alive and either the cell membrane is collected or organelles of the cell or the target protein itself is isolated and reconstituted in liposomes. All these samples can be frozen and stored um, in adipots until they are used. Since only a very little amount um, of the sample is necessary, one can um, prepare a batch of the membrane and unfreeze the preparation just before using it. It will, be last, uh, it will last for a long time. Once the sensor is prepared um, with the SSM and the sample on top, it is inserted in a surfer instrument. This instrument contains a shielded measurement chamber, an advanced fluidic system, and all necessary electronics for recording and amplification. Here we can see on the right side our two surfer instruments and on the left an original custom built rig. So and on the bottom you see all the corresponding sensors. Until now the transporters on the sensor have been inactive. In the instrument the transport process is triggered by perfusion of the sensor with a sequence of suitable solutions. Here on the bottom you can see a typical current trace and below the perfusion protocol that is applied. In this um, example the sensor is perfused with two different solutions in a continuous flow. 
In the beginning, the sensor is flushed with an inactive control solution until the baseline is stable. So this is the first step indicated with the blue um, perfusion step. This can be, for example, a buffer that is consisting of a physiological salt solution. Um, and when switching to a solution containing a transported substrate, a transient current signal occurs. During this step, the um, active transporter moves charge into the vesicles or liposomes. This charge generates an electric field and it uses a current flow on the gold electrode, which is detected and amplified. The active transporter generates a membrane potential in this um, individual vesicles on the sensor until an electrochemical equilibrium is um, established. Frequently one can observe a second signal when the substrate is removed because the substrate moves out of the vesicles again following its chemical gradient. The initial situation can be restored by rinsing the sensor and the activation cycle can be repeated many times. Um, what I um, introduce now is a, the most straightforward type of experiment. It is, for example, also possible to generate to two different substrate or ion gradients for more complex transport cycles by preloading the vesicles or liposome in advance um, of the experiment with another solution. The height of the peak and the area under the curve reflect the speed of the reaction and the transported charge. When looking at these parameters, one can, for example, study affinity of substrates or um, inhibitor properties. It's also possible to change the environment of the transporter and to learn about the mechanics, uh, mechanics and the properties of the transporter. Um, it's even possible to resolve binding events in case they um, induce a charge displacement in the transporter. And it's also possible, of course, to compare different isoforms or different transporters. So now I would like to introduce our two surfer instruments very briefly. The surfer N1, which you see here, is our single channel system. It is an all-in-one device, very straightforward handling and high flexibility. This makes it um, the right device for asset development or research projects. And then we have the Surfer 96 SE, which we introduced last year. This is our high throughput device. It performs 96 measurements in a full parallel mode. Um, for this, a sensor plate in 96 wheel format is used, and it includes a 96 channel amplifier and 96 wheel pipetting system. The system is running with our in house software, which is designed for automatic recording and analysis of the data. And also very important, the Surfer 96 SE performs not only the measurement, but also the preparation of the sensor. This instrument is, of course, developed for projects which require a higher throughput, for example, during a squeezing. Thomas Licker will tell about this later a bit more. And um, my last slide is a list of all the targets, or um, most of them transporters, that have been investigated with the SSM-based um, electrophysiology. So on top, in dark blue, you see um, a group of pumps. So ATPase is, for example, the sodium potassium ATPase, and um, for example, some respiratory chain complexes. Then in the middle, you see the biggest group, um, classical targets are the transporters, uniporters, symporters, and exchangers. Many of them are from the group of SLC transporters. And on the left side, some uh, ligand-gated ion channels that can be investigated as well.